So I was at my friend's house yesterday. I parked in the middle of his driveway, left it running. Then I went to move it. Just a nice little puddle of oil, just waiting for me. Just oozing, just oozing around. Coming out of the, coming out of the motor. So that's what I'm working on today. Going to the car here, some oil. There's my oil filter housing and she's dripping. So I'm gonna go get new gaskets for that. My pan's also leaking. Little tiny cracks up in there. I just replaced my pan not too long ago. That crack was way bigger and I wasn't able to repair it. But these two cracks, I think are small enough that I can just use some JV Weld and fix them without having to replace them. So let's go to Advanced Auto Parts. All right, guys, so they actually didn't have one of the gaskets that I needed, which I kind of figured because Volkswagen. So I'm gonna go home and patch up the oil pan real quick, and I'll come back another day, and we'll get that oil filter housing all done up. I'm back. First things first, I'm gonna do the pan. I got JB Weld steel stick, 40 grit sandpaper, and gut. Don't play around with metal shavings, kids. Alright, sanding is all done, and you can actually see the crack a lot better now. It's just one long crack. I'm just gonna degrease it a lot more, and then pack some JB Weld in there. Alright, so with this JB Weld stuff, you just want to make sure your fingers aren't greasy. It's basically just like a two-part epoxy. I'm gonna take a lot more than I think I need. So that took me about five minutes to get that all in there. At first, I was really concerned because it was just sticking to my fingers and wasn't sticking to the metal. But all I did was just keep smearing it, literally press and push down, and it finally started to stick onto the metal. And so once I got a little bit of it to stick, I could then put on the rest of it. And then she started to go on really well. So I really hope that it holds. This is my first time doing this, so let's just see how it works out. That's what it looks like. Not too shabby. Now onto this. Grab your six millimeter and the huge wrench. What a wonderful All right, so now it's just two bolts. We got one here and one here. They're 13 millimeter. And there's a third bolt back there and this sensor. There she is. That's where I think the leak was coming from. All right, so I'm gonna take out this gasket here. Stuff these holes with some towels. And I'm gonna spray her down. All right, so I cleaned it up a little bit, not a lot. It's still really dirty. What I am gonna do is take out these Allen bolts right here and see if there's some any like rubber O-rings around there that I could maybe change out. And I'm also gonna take this off too and see if there's anything of the sort in there, just so I can be 100% sure that I'm not getting any leaks from anywhere else. All right, so there was no O-rings or anything on these bolts right here, nothing on this either, but I just cleaned it up for the heck of it. Now I'm gonna put that gasket in there and I guess just put it back together. Here we go, we're good. So these metal compression rings are not used. I replaced this big O-ring and this little O-ring. The big O-ring goes right here. The little one goes on the drain plug. Let's put her in. All right, she's in. Hopefully it was a successful endeavor. Gotta add some oil. All right, I'm gonna start her up and we'll see if she leaks. Ah, she sounds good. No leaks on the filter housing and no leaks on the patch. That crack on the oil pan started to leak like instantly last time I started it up and nothing so far. So I guess all it's up to do is take it for like, I don't know, a 15 minute drive and uh, come back and see if we have any leaks yet because that'll surely tell. Not good. It looks like this sensor is leaking around maybe the rim here, or maybe even inside. I'm not really sure, but I'd like to get to the bottom of it. I'm not sure if these are leaking. It looks like this one was, but I don't know if it might just be the sensor or not. So I'm gonna put O-rings on these guys, and I'm gonna put Teflon tape on this guy. All right, so there you have it. So let's put it back on and see if it leaks. It's back in, so let's go for another drive. Hope for the best.
So I'm pretty positive it, it was that sensor. I think it was just leaking around the plastic on top of that nut. So I went to Advanced and Cameron hooked me up. I got this new sensor and an Arizona. Arizona is always making me happy. I'm gonna install this sensor back in and take it for another rip and see if it fixes it. Here we go again, guys. Going for the hopefully last drive to uh, see if this thing has stopped leaking or not. Let's go. Looks good. Oh, yes. All right, guys. So we are finally back together. She's holding oil and Wow. <laughs> well, that was kind of a painstaking process, but overall, I think I learned a little bit more about the car. Obviously didn't go as I had planned it to, but it's done and you know, trial and error. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. And uh, we did a lot of learning today. We still won in the end. It was a success. It just took a little bit to get there and that's fine. So if you guys got value out of this, go ahead and like the video. I hate begging for likes, but it's just the YouTube algorithm, man just how it goes hopefully you guys are still enjoying the content keep coming back for more i'm trying to upload every other week tell me what you drive tell me uh your favorite thing about my car so far if you like the car at all if you don't hate the car if the car isn't a piece of trash to you or if you just think it's a pile of dirt that's fine too tell me if it's a pile of dirt you know what i'm saying <laughs> all right guys i'll catch you on the other side